Thanks for tuning in to this video weather briefing. The topic for this briefing is the return of subtropical moisture for this weekend. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist here at the National Weather Service. This video is issued September 3rd, 2014. Let's take a quick look back at the monsoon so far. This is percent of normal precipitation from July through early September. You can see the areas in blue and purple. Those are 200 to as much as 400 percent of normal. So in the areas where we've seen some rain, including the deserts, mountains, and even some of the valley locations, precipitation has been much above normal, as shown there. The result of some of our big rain events, recall back on August 3rd, we had significant flash flooding across the San Bernardino Mountains and the foothill regions, as shown here. What are we expecting in this forecast period? Well, thunderstorms are expected to develop by Sunday. That's when the moisture really starts to increase from the subtropics. Continues on Monday and Tuesday. This is not just for the mountains and deserts. There is also a possibility for the valleys and the coast. Also want to mention that elevated surf conditions will continue, especially for later this week, Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday, with a potential for high rip current threat along our immediate coast. Also keep in mind the potential for thunderstorms even on the coast for Sunday, Monday, for those planning on beach activities. Confidence is high through the early part of the weekend, and then it tapers off as the exact path of this subtropical moisture is still uncertain. What's the weather pattern to bring the moisture to us? Well, coming up from the south in the typical fashion that we call the monsoon flow around the upper level high pressure system over the hot desert southwest, as shown here. This will be the pattern setting up for this weekend. We also need to take a look at tropical cyclone Norbert. The system will be weakening as they typically do, but notice it will be taking a path parallel to the Baja coast. This will bring the remnant system northward and as shown here by Monday in the central Baja. The moisture from the system will be most important for our forecast. The leading edge of this moisture will enter into far southern California late on Saturday. And then on Sunday and Monday, deep significant tropical moisture ahead of this tropical cyclone, as shown here, will lift northward with an upper level disturbance and move across Southern California on Sunday and Monday. Be sure to check in for the latest hazards by going to the weather.gov San Diego webpage. Look for the hazards and the hazard map as shown here. Also follow us on Twitter and Facebook as we will share updated information on those social media sites. Thanks for tuning in.